Hey, Coach Greg here at Swell Training, and today we have a boxer hit workout. That's right, we're gonna be throwing some punches, having a good time, we're gonna be burning some calories, moving our bodies, it's gonna be amazing, so let's jump right to it. All right, so we're gonna be doing three sets. First set is gonna be more explaining and demonstrating the different exercises as we go along, and then the next two sets will be more of a complete run through of everything, so you'll get that burn. You'll get your sweat on, it will be amazing. And if you haven't already, can you just go ahead and click the subscribe button or the notification bell, whichever one you prefer, just to stay on top of any new videos dropping. It just helps us, I don't know, feel good about ourselves. <laughs> All right, let's get right into our first set. All right, we're gonna start right off the bat with some boxer bounces. We're gonna do 30 seconds on. So feel free, this is the goal of this, is just to loosen our body. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. I like to think of it as if I'm skipping rope. You don't pretend doing this, just like bounce from foot to foot. I like to flail my arms around like a weirdo, but this is just a good way to loosen up my arms, especially when we're throwing some punches in a couple more seconds. So just bounce around, move your body. You know, in and out like here, whatever you feel comfortable doing, but we're gonna be throwing some punches, we're gonna be doing some duck and weaves, we're gonna do a lot of good stuff. So this is the time right now to uh, warm up. So we got three, two, and one. Great job. All right, we're gonna go right into jab cross punches. Don't worry too much about getting very technical with your form. All I would recommend is just having one foot forward, one foot back. This lead arm is going to be your jab. This back arm is going to be your cross. Just remember that whichever foot you have forward, front leg, front arm, this is your jab. Back leg, back arm, this is your cross because you have to cross across your body. So all we're gonna focus on is jab crosses. Again, foot in front, foot behind, knees slightly bent, elbows tucked in and up, protect your face. All we're doing is focusing on turning uh, that arm over for your jab and then turning that back arm over for your cross. So it just looks something like this. Don't worry about like having that like, power behind everything. The purpose of this is just to move our bodies and uh, just flow into it. So we're gonna do 30 seconds. Here we go. So like I said, just focus on turning those hands over. Sometimes we like to over exaggerate the moves and like really focus on turning your palm. That just helps you make sure you have right shoulder rotation. You'll notice I'm just like pedaling a little bit with my feet. This front leg is what gives me power to my jab. And then I'm turning my back hip for this cross. So all we're doing is here, keep those arms up, try to punch face level, but normally you're gonna be fighting something, someone uh, bigger than you, so maybe punch up, whatever you prefer. Three more seconds, three, two, and one. Great job. Alrighty, next we have some duck and swerves. Now pretend there's someone in front of you throwing a punch. What we're gonna do is have our feet a little past shoulder width apart. Wider base will make it a little easier to get up and down. But all we're focusing on is uh, getting down or ducking, swerving to the other side and coming back up. Pretend there's almost like a string or a pole that's extending right in front of you. And we're just going up and under it just like that. So 30 seconds, here we go. So duck under, swerve over. You know, pretend someone's as, as if they're throwing a haymaker, you're going under and then boom, you're hitting them. <laughs> Just like this, you can keep your arms up. You can keep them down to the side, whatever you prefer. I almost like end up on my, my tippy toes near the end. Just gives me an extra extension. Makes it more of a leg workout too. Not just head movement. So there you go, a couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. Last, we have uppercuts. We're not gonna be focusing on power. All right, normal uppercut, you're like twisting from the side and bam, going up. We're just gonna focus on really opening up our shoulders, opening up our chest. We're just trying to roll. So one foot forward, one foot back, knees slightly bent. Just focus on getting these arms in this rolling motion. It's gonna seem kind of silly, but trust me, it works. Here we go, 30 seconds and begin. Just really focus on loosening up those arms and those shoulders, because that is where, not where your power comes from, but where the technique comes from. Your power, especially when it comes to punches and everything is gonna be from your hips. Because if you're throwing uppercut, you'll, you almost like load it to the side and bam. But we're just focusing. I'm just getting this motion. I'm also kind of like pedaling my feet a little bit. Cause then you can get like that, but you don't have to worry about that. Just like this, 
Pedal a couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. Boom, there you go. That is your boxer hit workout. We have two more sets, so let's get into it. But first, water break, because I am tired. All right, now that you know all the exercises, we're gonna get into set number two. Put it all together. We're gonna start off with boxer bounces. In just a second, switch your arms. All right, boxer bounces, here we go. All right, here we go on jab cross punches, 30 seconds. And let's throw those punches. and swerve starting in three, two, one, here we go. All right, here we go with uppercuts. Three, two, one, let's go. Second set done and dusted. We have one more set to go. Grab some water if you need to. I do. We're gonna jump right into this third set. No breaks. Let's have fun. And honestly, this the boxer bounces are a great active recovery as well. So here we go. Boxer bounces. Three, two, one. Let's go. Throw the arms, really loosen them up, especially with all these punches we're doing. Flail them around. Come on, let's finish strong. All right, a couple more seconds, and we're gonna go right into the jab cross punches. Here we go, in three, two, one. Great job, jab cross punches. One. <laughs> All right, throw those punches. Come on, finish strong. Really turn that hand over. So bam, 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 bam. Really twist from the hips, just like that. Don't be too rigid where you're like this, but just be loose. Flow with it, just like that. Bam, boom, much higher. Three, two, and one, great job. Next, duck and weaves, swerves, sorry. You know what to do. Spread your legs a little bit. Three, two, one, and let's get ducking, and swerving, and ducking, and swerving. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a, one of those cardio 80s things. <laughs> Doesn't help with the headband, all right? <laughs> all right, come on, almost there. 
Really get low, bam. Someone's swinging for your head, we wanna get under it, and boom, pop up the other side. Just like that. Come on, a couple more seconds. Three, two, see one more, and done. Great job, last but not least, uppercuts. Remember, just roll with your shoulders, baby. Here we go, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's really roll with it. This is also almost like an active recovery rest as well, because we're not trying to go like force. We're just trying to really like roll and be smooth with it. Just roll those shoulders back. Just like, uh, like I said, it helps if I'm like with my feet, because if I'm just like here, it's just an arm move, but we want the whole body, we want the hips involved. So there we go. Come on, let's finish strong. Three, two, and one. Give yourself one of those and one of these. You earned it. That was your boxer hit workout. I feel good. My body's very loose, ready to go. Hey, if you want to do more, go back, start this video again, do it again. I'm sure you'll be sweating buckets. But if you like these type of videos, like I said earlier, go ahead and just click the notification bell. It allows you to get notifications whenever new videos like this drop. And like, hey, you know, honey, Coach Greg dropped another workout video. <laughs> This helps everything. So uh, feel free to, again, share this with friends, do whatever you want. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay strong, my friend. Peace.